My name is Timur Özalsem, and I'm an anesthesiologist at the University of Alberta Hospital. I'm also the site chief of anesthesia at the Cross Cancer Hospital in Edmonton. I believe it is our responsibility to provide care as widely as possible. And once I learned that we were creating a tremendous impact with our anesthetic agents through their release into the atmosphere, I knew that there must be better ways to do this and to lower the impact we create through our release. Anesthetic agent consumption is part of what we would call the triple bottom line. We consider human factors, our patients, um, we consider environmental factors, and we also consider cost factors. And thus, anesthetic agent consumption, if we reduce the anesthetic agents, this will have no detrimental effect to our patients whatsoever. However, we can also save money. And on top of that, the savings we can create for the environment by not releasing useless anesthetic agents into the atmosphere is probably the single largest of all. In fact, if you looked at global healthcare as an independent country, we'd be the fifth largest emitter of greenhouse gases in the world. For example, if we used an anesthetic agent, um, the worst of the bunch, at two liters of fresh gas flow a minute for an operating day of, let's say, seven hours, the impact we create is about the same as driving from the most northern port in Europe, which is the North Cap in Norway, all the way down to the most southern city in South Africa, so Cape Town, South Africa. So it is quite significant what we can do with our anesthetic agents, and thus it is our duty to try to reduce the impact we create on a daily basis. Traditionally, when you have a semi-closed circuit anesthesia machine, which are most of the anesthetic machines in use today across the world, you would first induce your patient, obviously hook them up to the anesthesia machine, and then you would need to drive the concentration of anesthetic agent within the patient through your fresh gas flow, meaning you have to adjust a significant amount of fresh gas in order to start saturating the patient with anesthetic agent. Well, the closed circuit is the most efficient way we can run anesthesia, and it is very, very simple to switch the machine into the closed circuit mode. It really just takes the click of a button and you are then rewarded with an audible click and can also then on the screen see how the fresh gas flow is reduced and the machine switches from fresh gas mode into closed circuit mode. the machine will automatically reduce the fresh gas flow to what we call metabolic flow, which is basically the fresh gas flow equates to what the patient consumes in oxygen per minute, and only that is replaced, thus making this by far the most economic and efficient way to run an anesthetic. In clinical medicine, there really is no scenario I can even envision where the closed circuit would be inferior to a semi-closed circuit machine. So the Zeus IE, with the capability of going into closed circuit mode quickly, is really the ideal scenario for every clinical case. I think any anesthesiologist who has ever used closed circuit, um, the auto control mode on the Zeus on a patient, will not go back. It is just so simple and it offers huge advantages for the anesthesiologist. Even the most experienced user will have no chance of basically competing with the economy of the Zeus in closed circuit mode. And believe me, I've tried. I have tried everything, trying to reduce the fresh gas flows to see if I could be better than the machine, but fact was I couldn't. We have to realize that the patient we are treating is not only the patient in front of us, but by now encompasses the whole planet and all of life on this planet. And it is our responsibility to do what we can in order to maintain health for every breathing organism on this planet. Mm -hmm.